Hey Affinity Designers, this is just going to be a walkthrough of the bottle illustration that I did in the previous video and uh, I'm just going to talk through it and give you an overview. Um, just if you're interested, I am sped this up by eight times so uh, if you're amazed at my speed just know that I'm not that fast. <laughs> so I'm starting off with a cork. It's going to be seen through the shape of the bottle so I'm going to be definitely using transparency so I'm, I'm going to establish the cork first. I'm looking at the highlights right now and just doing a clipping mask to put a, uh, a white shape uh, set to a opacity. And I'm going to do the same thing with the shadow on the right hand side and the highlight, the, the rim light. So I'm just looking, um, again I got the shadows on below the edge of the cork and also the base of the cork. That, that angle might be a little off on the cork to be honest with you, but um, oh well. <laughs> So I just got some textures from Unsplash um, at the, uh, in the stock um, studio and I'm overlaying two of them. One's more or less just a grain and I've tweaked the levels to make it uh, dark and bring out some of the, the really um, interesting texture. I'm not so much worried about the, the detail. I want a, a, a harsh, um, harsh contrast and with some really gritty texture because I can see that that's in the uh, cork. I also added a stroke onto the base shadow for that rim, and it's got a uh, uh, it's got a, an artistic brush applied. I think I used the chalk. Oh, excuse me, the crayon brushes looks like. So here I am making the bottle shape. I'm just using rectangles, and then once I convert them into curves, I can tweak the corners using the round corner tool, and um, again just kind of just push the shape around. Um, you can use the other shape tools, but I found that for a lot of purposes I get a lot more, more control if I just start with the basic rectangle and then go from there. So I'm playing around with color. I just want a light blue. I know the original is clear, but um, I'm, I'm going to add a little tint of blue. And then I'm using that same bottle shape, just masking it inside to create some of the other curves because essentially all the shapes follow that same curve twisted in 3D. and um, so including the original shape just is a great building block for those things. There I punched out um, the rim of a bottle with using the, uh, um, the geometry tools. And here I am just doing a trace to create a stroked highlight uh, on the rim. So really just uh, as I explained in my previous video, um, it's just looking at light and shadow and trying to replicate it. Uh, if I wanted to make this really highly realistic, I'd probably approach this differently, but um, I'm going to, just by layering up um, darks and lights, using transparency and clipping masks, uh, I'm going to get a really far uh, distance down the road to realism. And uh, for my purposes, that's pretty, pretty fine. So again, if you wanted to be photorealistic, you could trace that. At that point, why do an illustration? Just use the bottle. <laughs> Um, but the, the benefit of, of hand creating the illustration, I think, is that then it can be, those techniques can be applied. You can rotate the object in space and include it in a setting like I did in my um, previous video just to show you that you can place it in a setting and rotate it. Um, so here I am. I, I did apply a little Gaussian blur because I noticed that the, the, the glass is not perfectly smooth. It's got a, the, the shadows are kind of modeled on the edges, a little, little uh, rough on the edges, um, on the insides. So I thought that the Gaussian blur would give me a little bit of that effect. And um, you know, there's, there's some tools in the Adobe suite that might uh, do this like ripple and distort. Um, here I'm just going to uh, do it what I can and use layers to build up some complexity. So just wrapping up this video, um, I'm gonna do a reflection. Uh, I put it some amber liquid in the bottle and I, I kind of just e estimated the, uh, the, the surface of the liquid in the bottle, um, just trying to figure out roughly where the eye level was. So I uh, rounded the corners to in indicate the curve of the liquid inside the bottle and the thickness of the bottle itself. And then I uh, slapped a texture from the stock studio and kind of created a... Uh, like, a, like it's in a bar or a kitchen uh, in the Mediterranean or something. And uh, that's about it. Oh, I, I did apply this texture and I bumped up the Gaussian blur on that to create almost like a cloudy effect. 
and that's a that's a neat technique to uh, create some more interest and more texture in your image overall. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed that and learned something. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you learned something, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.